Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So please excuse my glasses right now. I know it's really annoying to watch YouTube videos when someone's wearing glasses, but if you guys don't know, I'm super freaking blind. I cannot see like a meter in front of my face. I usually wear contact lenses in most of my videos, um, but my eyes are just dead today. And I just, it's like 7.30 at night. So I'm just like, my voice is dying. I'm not even pronouncing my words properly anymore. I'm slurring. I'm so out of it and my eyes are just like trying to close and I'm trying to clock off and sleep. But I was trying to smash out this video as quick as I could for you guys because this is like the last chance that I have to film before I go to America on Monday. So it's currently Saturday evening. I've got one day left. I'm so freaking excited. I can't wait to just like not even take a bit of time off, but just like take a breather, like escape, escape Sydney travel somewhere new, experience new things and just have some fun with Hamish and just like have some couple time together because he's been studying like crazy. Um, and even though we live together, we haven't been able to spend like a ton of like quality time together. So I'm just really excited for the next four weeks. And I just, I honestly can't even wait to like just get super fat in America and just like put on live it up. You guys are probably seeing this video while I'm away in America, but it's probably before some of my other pre-filmed videos. So you guys won't see any other videos with me with blonde hair until I get back from America or when I'm like uploading my vlogs sporadically throughout my trip. Um, so yeah, don't be alarmed if you guys see like other videos, like makeup tutorials and that sort of thing going up when my hair is a little bit darker because I've just filmed those previously to now. But yeah, this is another try on haul. Today we're trying on some white fox stuff and by where I mean me. <laughs> Can't wait for you guys to watch this video because I literally... I was freaking stoked like the clothes like the quality the styles the colors like the cuts i just i freaking really really love the clothes in this haul just so you guys know as well i am only five foot tall and i am very very petite so how the clothes fit on my frame is going to be very different to how it might fit on your frame as well and i noticed in a couple of like my older try on videos a few people were getting a little bit annoyed with me saying how small and tiny i am all the time i think they were kind of thinking that i was like trying to say like i'm heaps like hot and skinny and that's so not what i'm saying i'm literally just trying to tell you guys i'm fucking short like i'm literally just a very small human just like a super petite i think if any of you have like seen me on snapchat or on instagram in photos like next to friends you would just know how little i am because i make them look like giants I mean, i'm generally like a size four to a six and i'm roughly like 43 44 45 kilos depending on the day so i'm just like really really little so yeah hopefully that helps you guys out with like figuring what I look like in real life. But yeah, that's basically it for this intro. So I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. So the first piece is this shirt that I am wearing right now. This is like, it's got foundation on it. It's either foundation or Vegemite. I don't really know to be honest. It could be poo. Who even fucking knows with me? Um, but basically I've been living in this shirt. I don't have a bra on, so just like mind the headlights. You know what I mean? I leave for America in one day. So I'm not wearing a fucking bra. I'm like obsessed with this shirt. I freaking love it. It's literally just a plain white t-shirt and then it's just got the little word honey on the front. The letters is kind of that sort of sewn on like ironed on material but it's also stitched over the top of it. So it's as if they've ironed it on and then just done stitching over the top and it's kind of raised. So I really freaking like it. It's so simple and basic but I am honestly the biggest t-shirt lover ever they're so comfy they're so chill they're so fucking gangster bish i really love the fit of this t-shirt as well i like that it's not like too tapered or anything it's not huge and boxy but it is quite square um and i do prefer a more squared off t-shirt i don't want a t-shirt that's like oh i'm a woman i just have boobs and like i just really want to show off my figure at all times I want a t-shirt that's like a fucking boys t-shirt. Like, why can't we just have the same? I'm obsessed with this t-shirt. I've literally been living in it. I was trying not to wear it before I filmed this haul because I wanted it to be like a first impression. Um, but I just, I had to wear it. I just love it. So this is a size six and it's from the brand Paper Heart. I'm literally living from the t-shirt. I love it. So moving right along, I'm going to try on this little pink set. I haven't tried these on yet, but I think they are so freaking cute. This actually comes with a matching duster coat. Um, and I believe it comes in like a light gray 
as well as the pink and maybe another color as well but i'm not sure um but i remember i saw tammy hambro's sister emily i think it was wearing this set and i was like oh my goodness i need that it's very girly i'm not like the most girliest girl in the world i love makeup i love having my hair done but it's kind of where it ends. But I never wear jewelry. I basically live in t-shirts and jeans and sneakers and thongs, like flip-flops, not G-strings, but I do live in those too. I hope I feel okay in it. I just thought it was really, really cute. So I'm gonna try this on now. These are the shorts. They actually fit really nicely around my waist, which I'm surprised with because you guys know how little I am. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I actually really like those. They feel really comfy. That's like such a good fit. I don't know if I like the overlapping mesh, Kind of wish it finished where the shorts material actually finished, but that's so easy. You can just literally cut that if you didn't like it. The back of these shorts is not flattering at all. I don't know if you guys can see, but it just looks like a sack on my butt. Not particularly cute. It kind of looks like a nappy. Pull them up a bit higher. I don't think I can pull them up anymore because my ribs, like these are over my ribs now. <laughs> my torso is not long enough for this. I feel like that looks, oh, that still looks pretty atrocious on my butt. Maybe I just need to squat a bit more and like fill this out because there's a lot of room. It looks like I've shit my pants in my nappy and my mum hasn't changed it for me yet. But other than that, I really like them. These are the type of pants I would wear when I just want to wear like some comfy shorts during summer, but I still want to look cute. I personally love this style of shorts um, because it's just so chill and it doesn't feel like anything, like they feel nice and airy. I also really like the material. They're really nice and stretchy. Um, and then the mesh over top is stretchy as well. And I just like the whole concept of like the cotton material and then the mesh over top. I think it just makes it really, really cute and just gives it like an edge for something that's just so simple. And they do have an elasticated waist as well. And then there's like a little drawstring. I could definitely do with going like a size down, but they don't obviously make a size smaller, otherwise I would have gotten it. These are from the brand B Times Runaway and they're a size extra small. So if you guys have been following me for a little while, you would have seen when I did my B Times Runaway um, haul. BX Runaway? B Times? I don't really know what the brand is called. I'm the worst. But they do make double extra smalls in some items, but not all of them. Um, and the smallest they generally go is an extra small. Damn it, I can't get a freaking zipper. Ah. Oh, this fits like snug. Oh, damn. That actually fits so freaking well. What the F? What the F hole? Okay, I really, really like this little top. It's so cute. It finishes like an inch or two above my belly button. Um, and it's just, it fits so freaking nicely. Same as the shorts with like the mesh sort of overlay, except this time this one is sewn onto the other fabric, whereas the overlay in the shorts is just kind of draped on over top and like has like a raw edge. It doesn't have any padding in the breast area, um, so it is just literally like a shape and then whatever you got is what you got. And then in the back, we just have the zipper and it does have adjustable straps as well. And I do think that these straps are a little bit too close in to my chest. I feel like they could be a little bit further out, but I simply think that's because the cup size is a little bit too small for my boobs. So if you guys can see, it's like, sitting off rather than sitting like flat on my chest but obviously like it's just because it doesn't have any underwire or anything like that so i'm like a size 8d realistically but it's very rare to find a size 8 and a d cup um so most of the time i usually get like a 10c or a 10d depending on like how small the make is a d really isn't that big i remember i mentioned in one of my last try on hauls i think it was like my first mesh key one i ever did I mentioned that a D was a humble size and everyone was like, bitch, please. Saying that I was like trying to brag or whatever or like that a D isn't a humble size. Does it look like a fucking D is that big? No. I think this is a really cute little set, like with a nice pair of wedges um, or some nice heels wearing this like a garden party or even a wedding, like a summer wedding. This would be such a perfect little outfit because it looks like a jumpsuit. <laughs> Next up we have this pair of tracksuit pants. I actually wore these last night because last night I went to a White Fox event for their new summer launches. So they came out with like their own Sunnies line. Um, I think they came out with summer clothing as well. Um, 
and there was like some other stuff. I personally actually didn't even get to see the new launches. It was on a barge in Sydney Harbour called The Island. Um, and I literally didn't even make it for, for like past the first part of the party because literally everyone I knew was just down that end and I didn't even... I just didn't get a chance to go up the other end and mingle with everyone. Katie Lost Deluxe was actually there, which was actually really cool. It's so weird seeing someone from like LA at an Australia event, um, but it's because her and Desi just did like their squad meetups over here in Australia. So that was really awesome. I didn't go off and bother her or anything like that because I didn't want to harass her, um, but she's fucking stunning in person, honestly. You guys are probably thinking, Casey, why the fuck did you wear tracksuit pants? Um, maybe it's because I'm a fucking gangster. That's why. They're so cute, I'm obsessed with them. They're obviously pretty big on me, but what I did with these was they actually have um, on the calves here. I'm sorry, my setup sucks, all right? I live in a really small apartment and I do the best I can, okay? They're not elasticated, but it's the type of material that's stretchy and it's just, it's a cuff, you know what I mean? So all I did was I just kind of dragged it up my leg and then literally just bunched it over so it kind of finished. As like a three quarter length I'm trying to show you guys and then oh my god I have to get my shoes to show you guys where are my fucking shoes these are from white fox as well so I just kind of bunched my tracksuit pants up and then wore them so they were just hitting the top of the shoe so it looks super gangster um, and I just thought these were really really cute I got these in a size 5 these were like literally the comfiest freaking high heels to wear the only thing that was like irritating me was that this top bit kind of started hurting the back of my leg um, but that could just be because I'm a little bit short um, and it was kind of like rubbing more on like my calf muscle whereas on someone who's a bit taller it'll come up to like just above the ankle if you guys get me i love the style i love that it's kind of like a boot but it's open toed because i really wanted to wear boots with these pants but because it's going into summer in australia i don't want to be like sweating my balls off um so yeah i just thought that was a really cute combo i would personally say that these are more of a size eight than they are a six i did get them in an extra small um so i think an extra small is kind of like between an eight and a six personally i'm more of a size four if anything they have little pop studs down the sides um so you can they start from here so this part is like kind of sewn together and then from this point onwards you can pop them open if you want to they've got pockets which I love and I'm actually going to be wearing these on the plane when I go to America because they're just so comfy and I just I've been living in them basically and also to the party I wore this little crop top which is so stained right now I don't even know what I've done to it this is the white fox brand as well and this is a small slash and medium I could have definitely gone smaller but I think this is the smallest that they um offer so this is what the crop top looks like on it's obviously not much of a crop on me because i'm so little i think it would look cuter as a boob tube um but i wore it like with the straps last night because i ended up wearing my pants a little bit higher up and all i did was just fold this under and that way is a little bit more of a crop top on me um and it just you know kind of i don't know i don't really know what i'm trying to say and i might actually even eventually like get my mom to sew this a bit smaller so it's more of a bralette on me kind of like this knitted ribbed kind of fabric if you guys can see up close you probably can't um, and then the little spaghetti straps are just really thin they are adjustable as well which I really like I've got a lot of red stuff like a lot I don't know if you guys can see Everything is red. I just, I really freaking like red. I feel like this is going to be such a boring haul. Maybe I'll try and break it up. I'll try on this mustard place suit first and then we'll go back to the red. This is in a size extra small and this is the White Fox brand as well, which I'm actually so excited about. I didn't realize that I picked out so many White Fox branded items. It's just like a little crossover play suit. I haven't tried this on before and it still has a tag on it. This one's a little first impression. Uh, but this looks hideous right now. Holy shit, I look like I'm wearing a sack. I look like a sack of potatoes. Oh my God, what have I done? This does not fit me at all. Wow. I look like a peasant. I look like an actual peasant. What the fuck is this front bit? Why do I need like big boobs? What, I don't know. I don't understand these things. So it's got adjustable straps. So I'm going to try adjusting those a ton <laughs> we'll see how this goes that looks a bit better but like still it's kind of like 
paper bag chic. Like, I need to just go and pick up some onions and potatoes from the grocery store. Let me just get my sack out. Like, it's not horrible. It's just not for my body type. I don't, wow, fuck, I look so disgusting right now. I do not look good in this. How did I think this was going to look good? Like, what was I thinking? I don't really know. I don't know what's going on with this. So hopefully you guys can see it from the side as well. It's just like... I like the fabric. It's just like a standard nice, you know, like woven summer kind of material. Really nice and thin and lightweight. It doesn't seem to be see-through from what I can tell. I feel like it's just like too um, much fabric around here. Like maybe that's it. Maybe if, okay, that's so much better already. But I look very bony. Bony and boobless. Oh my God, it's still not. Oh geez. Maybe I'll just give this one to my sister. It's just a lot of room. Like, can you guys see this? It's very stretchy at the back. This is an extra small as well. Okay, so keeping in the theme of dresses, I'm trying on this red dress. I was going to wear this to the White Fox party, but then it said it was going to rain um, and be like really cold and windy. So I decided to wear those tracksuit pants and that crop instead. Oh, this fits a lot more snug than I expected. So this one's got adjustable straps as well. So I'm just gonna adjust them. So it's got like a little tie up area here so i'm going to loosen this off because it's actually quite tight not tight but it's tighter on my hips than it is around my waist this is really cute it does make me look a little bit frumpy around the belly the shape is very boxy it kind of makes me look like i have like man shoulders up here um and then like no kind of curves last time i said that someone got like offended she was like um it's some people are just shaped like that like just shut up all right guys don't fucking whinge all right i'm allowed to say or what I want about my body, it's my body. I'm not insulting anyone else by extension. I'd say this is more for someone who has like a real fit bod or is more of a slim up and down kind of figure um, or has like just amazing curves that you don't even have to worry about what you're wearing. Like Tammy Hembro would slay in this. And because I'm little, it kind of sits a bit funny, but I feel like if I got my mum to put some darts in the sides here, and just cinched it in a little bit i feel like it would be so much more flattering it's it's really cute i love the color i love like how it ties up on the side just wish the tie was more of like a waist tie rather than like a hip sort of tie that really nice crepey woven kind of thin material I'll try and show you guys up close it's just just a really good summer material. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got this in a size extra small as well. I will leave all of my sizes as well as links to all the pieces in the description box for you guys. Moving on to the next set. This one is really cute. I actually really, really love this. Mostly like the skirt. I just, I think it's so adorable. It's one of those ones that like has a little slit cut through. Oh, it's undoing. It's unraveling a wraparound one. It's got a little slit cut through and you feed one of the tie-ups in it. And that doesn't make any sense, does it? But it's really cute. I think it's so flowy and pretty and so girly. Like I said, I'm not like a super girly girl, um, but I just, I really love this. It's like the type of outfit that I would wear on holidays if I was like traveling in Europe and I was just like trekking it through Greece. You know what I mean? Like sisterhood of the traveling pants, bitch. Basically, there's like a little white underlay kind of petticoat kind of layer. Holy shit, I have not heard the word petticoat in like 10 years. My mom used to say it all the time. Oh my God. The top is kind of like, it's kind of like cheesecloth sort of material, I think. I don't really remember what cheesecloth is. I just have a feeling that's what this is. I don't think it's very sheer, but the little lining does make a difference to stop everything, you know, stop people from seeing you everything. It is a little bit loose on me on the waist. Um, so sometimes I don't thread it through the little buttonhole that it's got. Um, and sometimes I just wrap it around as tight as I can without doing that. Um, but other than that, it fits so nicely. I love how flowy it is. It doesn't come up too high above my knees but it's also not too long and then it also comes with this matching top as well you can wear it like this which i think is how it's kind of intended to be worn because then it's pulled up a little bit higher and you don't get that mushroom but i kind of feel like this it's like a bit lame. Hi, I'm just here to meet your parents. We're getting married next Sunday. I just made him a roast dinner. It was amazing. I love my husband so much. And I'm going to clean up the kitchen and do his ironing. 
Thank you. I just feel like a little Stamford wife when I wear this. Um, so when I wore it to an event recently, I just had it off the shoulders and I had like a denim jacket paired with it. Um, but that does kind of bring this down a little bit further. So I did wear a bra with it, but you can totally go braless if you would like to. It just has like a little tie up detailing in the front. I really like the floral on this. I love that it's kind of, it's kind of like sepia in a way. Um, it's just like really beige. It's not bright or anything. It's just really like muted kind of grandma op shop kind of floral. This skirt would look really cute with like a little white singlet. I just think that would be adorable. Um, so yeah, I'm like soups into this one. So next up we have some more red because I'm loving it. -da 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 -da. I'm obsessed with this set. This I actually wore to an event recently. I think it was for Clara Sonic and Lancome. Um, and I just, I freaking love it. I got so many compliments on it and so many people were asking me where I, where I got it from. Why can't I speak? Made out of tracksuit material. It's kind of like that raw edge. It's not fleece, but it's like that other tracksuit material, that really thin, lightweight one, like summer tracksuit material. It is quite thick, so I wouldn't wear this on like a hot summer's day, um, but like I'd say like a nice, cool, like 25 to 20 degree sort of day. I feel like it'd be perfect. The shorts are so flattering. Usually these kind of like tracksuit sort of shorts aren't like the most flattering. But I just, I really love these ones. They're so nice and short on me, which like, thank the Lord, this never happens because I'm five foot tall. And this is a size extra small. I believe this is the White Fox brand. Yeah, this is White Fox again. So this is their brand. Um, and I just, I have no complaints about this set. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It does have pockets, as you can see here. It has an elasticated waist as well as a drawstring. Um, and then the t-shirt is just what I love straight up with boxy kind of t-shirt and it's a crop as well and I just I freaking love this set when I wore this to the event I actually wore a pair of cute little heels but I think it would look so cute with like a pair of wedges or just some sneakers um and yeah literally love this set so next I have another set this one is like one of my freaking favorites so the bottoms are actually they look like a skirt but it's actually a little skirt type of thing so you've got your little shorts underneath and then you've got the frills over top which makes it look like a skirt fits super super nicely if you guys can see like the ribbed kind of waist it's like that elasticated like you know when they sew the elastic into the material and it just i love it fits so nicely there's someone fucking perving on me from across the street this is a size sm extra small um and i believe this is the white fox brand as well i think i literally feel like a salsa dancer in this i feel like that emoji little running emoji with the dress except mustard instead of red i would actually wear this with like a cute little white singlet or just like a nice little cropped white t-shirt or just any old white sort of t-shirt tied up on the side i think that would be really really cute and then the top i'm wearing it this way today because this is personally how i like it um the most but you can wear it any way you want it does it doesn't cover my boobs like the best as much as i would wish it would or you can wear it like this part on the back um because this obviously has like a bit more boob room for you guys but just depends how you like to wear it doesn't really matter either way although it does get kind of bunched up when i wear it like this these sleeves are just connected by a few sewing stitches and they're just really flowy and i just love it so this front fit actually ties up, so that's why you can kind of wear it however you want. So when you untie it, it doesn't even look like a top, but just looks like material. Um, and then I've just tied it in a bow at the front. But you can wear it the opposite way and then wrap it around your chest and tie it like around your waist sort of thing. Um, or you can like crisscross it up. You guys have seen on my Instagram recently, I took a photo um, and I was wearing this top and I had it crisscrossed around my neck. I would seriously love this with jeans. I feel, feel like that would be so sexy. Um, and like a pair of heels that would look really cool for an event. It's made of like this really stretchy, crepey kind of material. It's not super stretchy, but it's kind of got a bit of give to it. It is a very see-through material, so you don't have to worry about it too much with the skirt because there is so many layers. But when it comes to the top, just know that you will need to wear like some nipple pasties if you're not comfortable with your nippies out for everyone to see. Next up, we've got some more red. <laughs> of course, I just, I don't know why I picked out so much freaking red, but I love it. I really love it lately. This is a bodysuit. Um, I will, I'll show you guys the back of it. You know, I'll just get my little bot out. 
So that's what the back looks like. It's literally just, you know, standard kind of bodysuit. So it's not going to look amazing um, with jeans over top unless they're like mum jeans or something like that. Just because it's not like a G-string type bodysuit. You're just like pouring rain at the moment, like out of nowhere. That's just crazy. This bodysuit is super freaking cute. I love it so much. I can't remember who I saw wearing this on Instagram, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need to have this in my life because it's just adorable. It's like a ribbed sort of fabric, but not crazy kind of ribs. It's very, very thin, really lightweight, perfect for summer. Um, just so like one of those days where you don't want to feel like you have anything on because I literally feel naked when I wear this It's not see-through or anything. I mean, I don't think it is And then on the boob here, it says baby girl very Baywatch. I really really like this especially with like a pair of jeans I think it would be so cute and then we have this leather skirt. This is too big for me Too big for me. It's really long if I wear it where it actually fits it goes down really long and it just looks like I kind of look like a prostitute and not in a cute way. I feel like this is the type of skirt that you need to commit. If you're wearing red leather, it needs to be short and it needs to be skanky. And this just isn't skanky enough on me because I'm a fucking midget. You guys can see on the side here, it's just too big. Um, this is from the brand B Times Runaway, I think. Is it? Just from Runaway. So there's B Times Runaway and then there's Runaway. They're kind of like the same brand, but I think it's like sister kind of brands this is that same brand that's just it's always too big for me i didn't realize when i looked on the website but i'm, I'm so sad because i really really like it it's got like these tires down here and it's just red leather would be oh, it's just so cute with like a pair of boots and a cute little crop tee love like that would be just adorable or like just some cute sneakers just to like kind of amp up an everyday sort of casual outfit it would have been so adorable. Now for one of my favorite items of this entire haul, which is this pair of jeans. I wore these in a Snapchat the other day. Um, I don't think I posted it on Instagram. I'm pretty sure it was just a Snapchat when I got my hair done. Um, and I had these jeans on and you guys went crazy for them. I'm trying to show you what they look like. So I've just got them cuffed at the ankle here. Um, but they are just like a regular finish kind of jean. Um, and these are like a boyfriend mum style jean. And I'm just like obsessed with them. Maybe if I turn in the mirror you guys can see like what they look like a little bit better. But they were just really super cut open on the legs. Like it's almost like wearing shorts. So if it's like a really hot day and you still want to wear jeans, I feel like this is something you can get away with wearing. You're not going to overheat. I'm taking these to LA. I was actually looking in the mirror just then and I was like this. This is going to be one of my LA outfits with a pair of Converse or something. I just feel like it would be so cute. I love that they're more of like an ankle finish jeans. So on me, they actually look like long jeans because I'm so little. The waist was a little bit big on me, but my mum actually put, um, she put like a dart here and then a dart here. So there's just like the tiniest, tiniest little fold over in them. And I actually could have a little bit more put in the side just to have them sit where exactly where I want them to. They are a little bit like puffy in the front, but again, it's like a mom style jean, so I feel like they're supposed to be like that. And I've been wearing them like nonstop at the moment, and these are a size six, so I, I'm just obsessed with them. I just feel like these are honestly, just like literally the coolest pair of jeans that I own. Next we have this mustard play suit. This one is really, really cute. I actually wore this recently when I hung out with Erin for a day. We went and had like a girls day and had lunch and stuff. Um, and what I can tell you guys straight up about this one is that your boobies will be falling out. It's really hard for me to get this to look flattering. I feel like the triangle parts are really long um, and to get it to like fit with my torso nicely um, I have to have them tightened really tight and then I can't really get this tight enough so like when I'm like leaning down and stuff my boobs kind of fall out um, and I had to keep tying it up throughout the day so that was a bit annoying but other than that I think it's really cute and I think a little bit of like Hollywood tape would like fix that problem right up especially if you're taller as well I feel like you have no problems or if you have like a wider chest I really like this part I like that there's like a little gap between the tummy and the pants and it's really really stretchy so if you're a bit wider than I am but you're still like an extra small you can totally get away with wearing this because it's literally like so much room for activities the shorts on the bottom are really flowy 
it doesn't like it's not flattering on your butt but i feel like play suits never are it always looks like a diaper um but it's super comfortable i just think it's really cute it looks really nice in photos um and it's just really like summer appropriate it's just like a standard cotton kind of play suit material really thin and lightweight and i just feel like it's perfect for summer so yeah i really i really really like this one but this is more for those days where i want to look really cute rather than just like slouching on the lounge because like my titties can't fold out a little bit i feel like the lighting's changed a lot because it's like nearly seven o'clock at night i mean it's daylight savings in australia at the moment so it stays light for longer but it's getting a bit dark i really love this it's like a nice little cropped one still really boxy so it still looks like hella gangster um but i just i love it it's not fully cropped on me it's like a little bit bulky like around my shoulders so if you're not as like if you're a little bit broader in the shoulders than i am um i feel like it would fit you honestly perfectly um just on me it kind of looks like makes me look a bit like triangle shaped but i like it it's chill i like really wearing it like off the shoulder um i just i think it's so cute you can even do what they're doing on like the fashion nova and stuff now and they like button them up like this i've seen pictures and they'll button them up like this and wear them like off the shoulders which i think is actually really freaking cute like if you want to be like you know hip with it with the young kids these days it literally looks like someone had like a regular sized denim jacket and just kind of cut the bottom off it um and i really like like the color and everything and again this is the white fox brand i don't know if this is the jacket that they came out with in collaboration with shanexo i don't know i can't remember what's in her collection and this is an extra small as well the last dress i have to show you guys is this one i am obsessed with this it's like a really nice light kind of denim blue but it is just a typical like cotton material really similar style to the red one however it does tie up a little bit more on my waist than the red one did so i prefer this one personally i really like that it's got like the kind of split just here and it does tie up in the back as well and it's got like a little gap but it doesn't come too high on the back where it's going to show like your bum cheek or anything. I love this like 90s style, like this with a pair of like um, Adidas sneakers would be just so sick. I haven't actually worn this one just yet. Like this is my first time trying it on. Um, and I just, I really, really love it. Like I don't need to wear a bra with this at all. It is a little bit loose. Like I could go down a size if there was one, but I can get away with wearing this. It like doesn't look bad by any means i think this is probably my favorite dress out of like all the dresses i've showed you guys and then last but not least i just have a jacket to show you guys i haven't tried this one on yet it feels very heavy but not in a bad way like in a nice expensive way um and it's kind of like a leather meets suede kind of jacket like there's little leather bits on there but it's mostly suede what the hell are these shoulders are these like are they padded shoulders oh god there's padded shoulders can I take those out? Oh god, I don't like padded shoulders. So I really like this jacket, I just don't like the padded shoulders that much, but it's really like warm and comfortable. I just feel like, like buff, like a buff business lady in this. I really love the material, I love the color. It's like this gorgeous like faux sort of suede. Um, I like like the little double sort of layering in here, like ooh, okay little secret and i like little leather panels that are on the arms here and then on the shoulders oh there's like little buckles on the side here too i guess i'm supposed to do those up but i'll fix them up later i feel very like serena vanderwoodson right now this is really warm i look like a fuckwit <laughs> um well i do not <laughs> well just <laughs> i look like a businesswoman in a fucking motorcycle gang so I'm not zipping that up again. But it's a really nice jacket. Like, really nice. I just don't like the padded sleeves. But I'm sure I could just, like, cut open a tiny little hole and pull those out if I really hated them. I feel like this is one of those jackets that if you're wearing just, like, a jean, like, a pair of jeans and a singlet, and you just have, like, sneakers or something on, you can chuck this on. Or you just, like, have to go to, like, the dentist or the doctors and you don't want to look like trash. You can literally chuck this on with whatever you're wearing and still look kind of cute. Like, look like you put a lot of effort in when you just kind of chucked it on so warm i'm like really surprised with how warm this feels like if you had a couple layers on a scarf you'd be pretty set for winter that's basically it for this video you guys i really hope that you enjoyed watching me try on all this stuff hopefully you like the pieces as much as i did because i seriously freaking love 
everything in this video. I think my favorite, my favorite was probably the tracksuit pants. I love a good pair of trackies. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out my Snapchat as well so you can keep up to date with all my travels and just me being stupid and stuff. Um, and check out my Instagram. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. It's like a man and his son making craft on the balcony. I make money moves. I can literally see like right into their house. I can see their ceiling lights. Close your fucking windows. Jesus. Love it. Love it. Love it. Big tit. Can you stop watching me? My salsa makes all the pretty girls want to dance and take off their underpants. My salsa makes all the pretty girls want to dance and take off their underpants. My salsa. Where'd everybody go?